Lawrence. It is two world championship silver medalists are battling it out. Shi Yu Chi, who was in the world championship final back in 2018 against the silver medalists from a couple of weeks ago, Kodai Naraoka. It's a repeat of the quarter final at the World Championships a couple of weeks ago in Copenhagen. Well, as far as the men singles lineup is concerned, uh, five seeds and five different nationalities, because as you can see, two from Indonesia, they play against each other, and an all unseeded encounter down at the bottom of the draw there. Uh, two from Indonesia, two from Japan, and two from China. So only five different nationalities. Mind you, we only started with seven seats because the world champion, Kun Luwida San, the number three seed, pulled out before play got underway. So this is going to be intriguing because it is the ninth meeting between these two players and honours are shared for a piece. But Kota Naraoka didn't only win the last one, he's won the last four encounters between these two players. Now, Steen, I'm sorry, I missed who won the toss of the coin. Yeah, the ones who paid attention, they would know that. And <laughs> I'm going <gonna> to <laughs> wait been a just... little longer before I tell you. Koran Aroka won it, and he chose the far side. Right, interesting. Which is a little bit um, surprising. Yeah. That may have some significance after all. So I've taken my reprimand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not the one to give you that. I missed so many. Well, Shi Yu Chi is 27 years of age now from Nantong in Jiangsu province. Currently number five on the world ranking, but did spend a total of 52 weeks across three different spells as world number two, I was telling you he won the World Championship silver medal in Nanjing in 2018 when he lost to Kento Momota. Well, he's taken out uh, most of the Danish team so far, has Shi Uchi, the left-handed Magnus Johansson in the first round, and then three games further against uh, Rasmus Gimka in yesterday's encounter. That was an hour and 12 minutes. I was watching that one and thoroughly enjoyed the match. So to Kodai Naraoka, he lost in the World Championship final to Kunla Wibdawida San a couple of weeks ago. He's playing his first China Open here in Changzhou. 22 years of age from Omori in North Honshu. And he's been in a couple of finals this year from 14 tournaments, but he's still looking for a first ever world tour title now in the very first round he beat uh, last year's asian champion Li Cixiar, in three games and then in the second round uh, beat the winner of the thailand masters earlier this year in Yi from chinese taipei well the other final apart from the world championships that naraoka has been in this year was the Malaysian Open, the first of the Super 1000 events this year. So an all-European court officials for this one, Bert van Horenbeck of Belgium is the umpire, and David Graf von Schwerin of Austria, the service judge. So Kodai Naraoka, this is career-high ranking of three. His ninth week in total, and his third spell at number three on the world rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, DOC China. On my left, Kodai Naraoka, Japan. DOC to serve Love all. Play. 
So Shi Yu Chi, the number eight seed from China, yours to us as we look down on the court against the number four seed Kodai Nadaoka. Sun Jun, former world Why champion on the coaching bench for Shi Yu Chi. Instrumental in the combat of uh, Shi Yuchi following his uh, injury and suspension. Oh, oh, what a beautiful time. it down the line. Things over. Two, one. And I have to say, I think it's very important for Shi Yuchi that he is finding the range with his attacking shots today because I don't think he has the stamina of Kodai Naraoka. And maybe that's why Naraoka chose the far side to start with. Because presumably for his game, that is the better side where he can uh, play full court. So I think Naraoka is hoping to play that. Set a good pace here in the first game, play a reasonably long first game if possible, but winning it. And that means. Uh, One challenge remaining. Smash is too, too long on the line. Yeah. But that means that Xiu Chi will have to go all out, more or less. In, in both games, had, had uh, Naroka started on the uh, more difficult side and, and she, she won that first game, he could have taken it a little bit easy if he was feeling trouble with the stamina in the second game and save himself a little bit for a third. If Naroka can third, pull off third, a win front. in the first game here, that Two, would be possible. Three. I don't know if you can remember, we discussed it at the uh, to the finals when Victor Axelsen was defeated by Anas Antonsen. Axelsen chose yes. to finish on the good end, but the problems had already occurred by then, so it didn't yeah. really matter. Let's have it in. I think if, if I was 40 years younger Three, and oh. was playing nowadays with this scoring system, yeah. I think I would probably want to get a good start. Yeah. Uh, especially in a deciding game, and then you can try and hang on. Whereas under the old scoring system, where you had to be serving to score a point, it was much more difficult to win a point, and therefore ending on a bad side was, was very detrimental. I also think this, this match will give there us a, um, Four, three. an indication of whether. Shi uh, Yuchi is um, finding form again. He was magnificent when China won the Diamond Cup on home soil. He was the chosen player in uh, all the matches, but one where Li Xiaofeng uh, played. Maybe, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe Lu Guangxu also played a match, but but he was the chosen player when. No, you were right the first time. He yeah. played. He played five matches in the campaign, one or five. And um, there's Asian Games in Hangzhou, his home province, not his hometown. So if he can, uh, he can sort of uh, 
control and attack his way through this first game here. Then the strategy from uh, Naoka of uh, starting on the far side, that backfire. Naraoka. Wise decision. service line and we played that smash so it was good lift from um, Naroka no it was bad lift oh it was bad lift it wasn't inside yep no he was he was in front of um, the he, yeah in front of the double service line yeah. that's too flat Third and over. the back line six who was semi-finalist at this event two editions ago was Shi Yu Chi so off to either Momota or Ginting that's right that was the last two finals involving those two players he actually lost to Momota, who lost in the final to Ginty in 18. Oh, Great that's set. delightful. What a lovely block. Just give Nakanishi on the coaching bench for Naroka. On the left as we were looking at them. Just watch this block from the Japanese yeah. player. That is super, super touch. I felt that he was a little underestimated in the World Championships in Copenhagen, where um, the Danish audience wasn't uh, that pleased with his um, approach in the final. But look at the touch again there in the defense, and, and um, some super smashes from uh, his forehand side um, eventually. So. Um, I think we have to realize that he's a very, very good player with a great touch in the defense, and, and that counts as well. Yeah. And there's many ways of winning a badminton match. And of course, there's, there's ways that an individual prefers more than others. He is definitely uh, going for it. But this long rally will suit in the long run. And that's also one of the things that I think frustrates his opponent that I mean, already at 7-3 he looked like, oh, uh, I'm a little bit tired and so on. And then the next rally, he, he's 
full of energy again, but his uh, sort of attitude between the rallies is like he can barely drag himself on court. That's very deceiving. He definitely can uh, go on, I think, a full two hours if needed. Well, I saw on social media that Naroka said he never wanted to play a two-hour match no. again. <laughs> <laughs> Just with a quick win in two straight games. Yeah. What's that World Championship final? Absolute marathon. An hour and 49 minutes. Well. Yeah. The uh, Japanese Lee, coaches... The Japanese coaches are um, saying that there's some perspiration on the court. And I talked to one of the Danish players uh, earlier in the week, and he said that, that there's some spots where it looks like it's it's slippery and wet, but it really isn't. It's just the surface that uh, looks that way. That's landed in. And the home fans loving that shot. Ten, seven. Might even be some from his home time. Shoot, his home time. Just less than two hours' drive from here. advantage and it is a very very good start by Shiuji Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you. Advantage for Shiuchi. Who's looking to build on that? Shot there from uh, Ten, Naroka, eleven. well into the court and uh, challenging uh, Shiuchi to find the right um, quality on the net shot.
open this time. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good angle too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Come back level. Three straight points. It's the resumption of play. It was a lovely block once again so from Naroka, oh. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right foot. And the fact that he dropped his racket suggests to me that that was painful. Yeah, it was one of those where you get the heel cap up in the uh, Achilles. You're really unlucky. It's, it's defensive shots like the one we saw from Naroka. That, that's what 13, puts the mental pressure on his well. opponent because if he got it back but played it a little bit longer into the court so the opponents could play on and, and be like level in the rally, then it wouldn't be so bad. But but he gets it back with interest. Yes. So they're behind in the rally if he gets it back. And they know that. And that's why placement is so important. And now we saw Chiuchi uh, miss one on the side there. That's that's a provoked error. That's provoked by the great touch by uh, Naroka in the defense. Absolutely brilliant. And I make that six of the last seven points. I'd love to know what was said to him in the coaching yeah. break there. Whatever was said has worked. Last defensive shot from his forehand there, he lifted straight. Yeah. Now going back on the cross court yeah. block again. Yeah. And Shiuchi's nowhere near it because no. of what, what he played on the previous defensive shot from there. So going from being above the um, level in the rally it goes to immediately losing it. Seven of the last eight points now. That was 
got away with Venom. There's no way that was going to come back. Service over. 13, 15. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, that's going wide. Shouldn't have taken that narrow walker. Oh, well, he's going to rally anyway. Serves over. Is Shuji struggling to lunge on his forehand side, do you think, Steen? It, Since it that seems slip? Like it, it seems like it. Or is it just fatigue? I don't difficult. know if he normally takes an extra step there. Oh, it can be difficult because the shot from the Haroka comes so quickly. That short clip of the racket it arrives a split second earlier, so there is no time to move the legs, basically. required here from QUT. Yeah. Yeah, clever. That's very clever. Good use of the body smash. I can't remember a body smash earlier from QUT, can you? No. Much more difficult for, she, uh, for uh, Naroka to get good angle on the reply to a body smash. That is super. And listen to the reaction from the fans. This is a fascinating encounter. The ebb and flow of the match. Great control on that shot from uh, Shiuchi to get yeah. the right length on it. Super important phase now who takes this uh, first game. 16 all. Reached. Oh, that's brilliant. Service over. Making sure she moves the full width of the court. There, forehand side, and now look at the angle down the backhand. A couple of inches inside that sideline. Oh, that's fantastic play. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, that was 
was a loose shot from Shu Yuji. Yeah, but I think 18, the uh, third shot, Mom uh, not Momota Naroka, he was so ready for that net. Look how quickly he takes it. He doesn't let it uh, spin or drop down. Injection of pace, 19, pace of movement, 16, not pace of shot. I'm impressed with um, uh, basically both players, but but Naroka, he's he's shown much more, many more facets in this game. Seventeen, nineteen. Mm, had a little think about it. That down the line quite beautifully. That is extraordinary control and accuracy. It's three game point opportunities for the current world number three, Kodai Naraoka. Clever. It's going wide. Opportunities for this man, Kodai Naraoka. Oh. And he converts on his second. 21 18, the opening game. First game won by Kodai Naraoka, 21 18. Amha confirms that scoreline of 21 18 in 27 minutes. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Second game, Lofo. What a thrilling opening game. Kodai Naraoka taking the first 21 18 in the battle of the World Championship silver medalists. Super. I had a feeling when we were getting to the climax of that opening game, Steam, that it was more important for Shiyu Chi to take 
that opening game. I hope I'm proved wrong, but I thought that psychologically he may begin, begin to struggle because he was working so hard and has got no reward from it. Yeah. I agree. I think it went just the way Naraoka wanted it to. It became uh, a hard fought first game, and he won it. But um, that will, will get a, a clue as to where she, she is one at the moment. Oh. I think he's a better place than um, in Copenhagen. But is he ready to go an hour and 30 minutes like um, he did when he won against Naroka in the German Cup? That was a super important win. to play it, but you've got to be more decisive than that. Two, one. Thank you. in his attack. He can afford it on the far side of the court because he can always uh, play the back court. It was more difficult in the first game. We may have missed Steve, but I think that's what he's got to do. He, he's got Three, to take his chances four. at the front of the court, yeah. Shiuchi. At least be so alert that he can take it early. Yeah. So that he doesn't have to give uh, too much angle away to uh, Naroka. the uh, sort of shot quality to um, to rattle Shiuchi now playing the near side and Shiuchi the far uh, because if he doesn't play it close enough to the lines then it, it's easy for Shiuchi to stand there and sort of chase him around the court uh, we've seen that already that he can do that he's definitely strong enough to do that but he needs to find that little uh, extra mark in or, or play with that little less margin 
a little bit, bit bigger risk to uh, get Yuji out of balance as well. See, that's not good enough. It's going wide. Yeah. The way he walks around, it's like if it was me on the other side, I would think, ah, oh, now I got him. He's uh, he's frustrated and so on. But that's not the case. He'll just come up at you at the next rally again. Naroka, you're yeah. talking about. Naroka. Yeah. Coaches. Seven, yeah, and the four. one to the right is his father. On the right, that's as I see him here. The uh, you see him in the chairs. There's Nakanishi sitting to the right, probably to see uh, face Observer. shot of them. Five, seven. Spending a lot of energy on it. Difficult for the opponents to do anything. It's a brilliant shot. I'm going to make a very silly suggestion, Steen. Again? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think Naraoka kind of misread the, the drift on court number one? This is the first time he's played on this court. Yeah. He, he, maybe. Because I have a feeling, I glanced across to court two earlier in the week and I felt that maybe the drift has been the opposite way yeah. on court number two. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Seven, eight. It's difficult for the players to figure out the drift, especially if there's been no one playing that court recently. And we have Japanese players on. Oh gosh, I can't no, that remember. was not in this session here. Previously today we had Fushima and Hirota. I, I was also seeing Victor Axelsen in, uh, coming in here at the uh, beginning of this match here, watching a little bit of men's singles and trying to figure out if the drift is um, consistent with what it has been. Pretty much since the first day where it indeed was different in the um, morning session. You were the one who spotted it. Yeah. It, that it had changed. Yeah, good angle from Kiyuchi. And Kodai Naraoka left spread eagle on the court. Nine, seven.
Yeah. Good shot. Um, all about steepness. In fact, it was only half pace, really. That smash from Shiyu Chi. Seven. This is about disrupting Naroka's timing. So he tried to play that little cross flick that he was been so successful with, but the shuttle is not the same place where it used to be. No. Oh, strings have gone yeah. in Naroka's racket. Yeah. So to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Xi Yu Qi of China. Well, so far, my theory about the need to win the opening game for Xi Yu Qi has been proved wrong. What a good start to the second game for the Chinese player. Eleven seven. Well, that was very clever couple of points prior to the mid-game interval there by Shi Uchi. Sliced a steep angled smash. Oh. Yeah, another one goes long at the back line. I think my Seven. suggestion about Seven. him not realising the drift on court number one may not be so silly after all. It's yeah, a possibility. Brilliant. I think we're actually going to see some of the opposite 13, now than, um, than I suggested in the beginning. That I'm not sure Naoka necessarily wants to work so hard in the uh, okay. remaining part of this second game here. And that's also uh, credit Thank to Shiu Chi for. Moving six ahead. And Naoka now knows that um, there's a possibility this is going to a decider and that he's going to finish on this near end of the court. And if that's the case, then he's got to work super hard in that third game. Good defense. Lovely defense from Naroka. Serves over. 8-13. doing the damage because there's no pace for Naroka to feed off on his defensive shot exactly apart from the fact that it was a wonderful angle and also the cross clear when he had the possibility of playing uh, an attacking shot I love that it shows that he's he's ready to invest and he's patient to cheat Long. 16, 8. That was some 
signal into uh, coaching chairs. Seemed like it was something about the Griff waving his fingers. Yeah. And this second game here has not at all uh, any uh, challenge to the stamina of uh, Shiuchi. Saves over nine seventeen. is winning this second Nine. game at a trot, not even a canter. <laughs> point opportunities a whole host of them for Shi Chi to level this quarter final at one game apiece. Game point nine. One game all game. tame finish to that second game. An arrow Oka look to give second up on it game. to me. One by Shiu Chi 21 9. 21-9. And the umpire confirms that it is one game all. Oh, yeah. 47 minutes into the match. Third and deciding game coming up in just a moment. Yeah, So a place in the semi-final of the China Final Open game. depends on this Global. third and deciding game. Play. And the 
problem for Nara Olkustein is that, you know, he was so off the pace at, in the latter stages of that second game. Uh, to suddenly switch it on again to the sort of form that he showed in game number one, that's difficult. Yeah, it is difficult, but, but um, I, I still think that he, he can do it. The problem for him is that I think Xi Yu Chi is going to play wiser in um, the start here. We saw that long smash from him, not so steep, and much more long the cross smash. So either more flat and long or softer and, uh, and steeper to disrupt the timing. He's gone wide. Zero, zero, three. One, oh. Well, I remember when Xi Yu Chi first burst onto the world stage when he reached the All England final in his first ever All England Championships back in 2017. Lost out to Lee Chong Wei in the final, having beaten Lim Dan, the defending champion, in the semi final stage. And now he's been in three All England finals, yeah. uh, winning one. That was a year after his debut at the All England Championships. So 2018, he was the champion. Lost in the final again this year. Three All England finals isn't so shabby, is it? No, no. to that forehand side. I mean, the, the shot prior to uh, Aroka's attack, that shot there is really good. Still nowhere near it. Super shot. How did he get that back? Brilliant. That's an amazing rally. And there was a defensive shot earlier on in that rally. From Xi Yu Chi off the body. Oh, that was quite exceptional. There, there it was. Ooh, there it was. That looked as if it could have almost been a double hit. As long as it's one movement of the racket, it's okay though, isn't it, Steen? Uh, it depends a little bit because I actually saw on social media uh, a spinning net shot from Ng Se Yong, the uh, Malaysian uh, men's singles player, where he uh, first hit it and the shot which was away from the racket and then later on in the same movement he hit it again and that's not allowed no oh good rally they've upped the pace Oh, it's 
a tired looking shot from Kodai Naraoka. Longest rally of this deciding game so far. Naraoka was sending the uh, court officials back again. Didn't want his court mop. What a beautiful backhand. That is just exceptional. Serve, serve for four. Oh, what a good deception from Shiyuchi. But look at that backhand. Yeah. Not only accurate, had a bit of disguise on it, and looked absolutely beautiful. Mistakes. Yeah, after the rally, I can tell you that Kodai Naraoka showed his frustration. Six, four. Look at Shi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at Naraoka. Did you see him? He was going to slam his was. racket down. Controlled himself, though. That's good to see. Short. Oi, guess it. It's 
Going wide. Oh, it's called good. He's challenging. It was wide, my instincts were correct. That's a very good challenge. So, prior to that rally starting, we were on 59 minutes for the match. We're now 61 minutes. One game all and six all. later stages of that rally was like this sort of survival game when you've done the uh, motor shuttle exercise hit 200 motor shuttles and there's 100 left so it's just about going on autopilot so to speak who can recover quicker that's uh, that's going to be interesting to see He's okay. There's a grimace on the face. Was that his hip? Yeah, I think so. Sent the wrong way. Well, Kodai Naraoka appealing to the umpire, saying this the crowd's against me. Well you can't you can't complain against that. No doctor? And he says he doesn't need the doctor. Doctor's coming on anyway. And now he walks out again with the with the two referees. What a match! give any ankle away from the front court Naroka if he can avoid it. Sometimes he can't avoid it because of the net game from Xi, but if he can, then he plays flat back. Well, this isn't just a battle of ability. This is a battle of will. Oh, my goodness, he almost fell over. There's the forehand again. Do you think it's all stemming back to that slip in the opening game? Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. Because he's got, got strapping on his thigh muscle anyway. He has, and it's always been his, his corner that's a little bit weak, but he's normally very good at playing back at the net from a very, very low position. That was sort of like his trademark when he first uh, emerged on the uh, world scene, that he played back at the net from really, really low position.
lost his racket. Serve, and serve, trying to retrieve the cross court net shot. This is a super shot from that Oroko, isn't it? If Matt Oroko had stepped on this racket, well, it was some distance away, and it was all okay. What happened if he's hit by the racket and injures himself? Then he's out. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it, it, the point yeah. would go against Shiyu Chi. Yeah. But if, if, if Naroka injures himself so he can't play, then it's like a oh, strike in bowling. Yeah. In. Nice block. Oh, he gets oh, it. I don't believe it. Absolutely sensational. Sing. That is extraordinary. That defensive shot from Shiu Chi, backhand defence, cross court. I just didn't believe that was possible. It's, that gone, it's gone past him. Yeah. Good match up these two players here. Very entertaining to watch. Yes, no doubt about it. Good nice. Shot. Very nice. Good control. And good awareness too from Shiu Chi. Oh. We've hardly seen any drop shots from Shiu Chi. His smashes have been working so well. He's stuck with those. So 10 all. Who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? Going wide. The answer is Chi is going to have the advantage as the players change ends in this third and deciding game. It's going to be at least one point in it. And that's all there is. Court one, 20 seconds. So, 11-10, deciding game. What a match. Well, I can see the thought process of Kodai Naroka. He knows about the drift now. Yeah. And he knows that he's got to hit down most of the time. He would probably go in some kind of uh, Victor Axelsen mode from when he played him in the uh, semi-final of the World Tour Finals where he kept everything downwards. 
the problem for him is I think that um, Xiu Qi is totally aware of what to do. You can see that he definitely had uh, the touch. In the stages, that's a fantastic smash. Turns over, 11, 12. He's got to take control of the front court, Xiu Qi. I think what he failed to do was to, I mean, he's got to work be ready to work just as hard himself because he's going to take the initiative and attack otherwise Naroka's doing it and if he's just playing patiently all the time then I think eventually uh, Naroka will uh, convert to a point so we're going to see a battle for the uh, net on the front court good shot Oh, it's just wide. Yeah. Oh, he's challenging. And the advantage for Xiu Qi is that he can, once in a while, afford shots like that to the back court. Yeah. Oh, it was clearly wide. One challenge remaining. Well, oh. Some suggestions from Sun Jun. Outside of the picture here. I'm told to hit the body. I see Jun, the way I interpret the uh, body uh, language of the Chinese coach. Not play so risky, know that you're going to have to go for the next shot. That's a great time. The last, uh, yeah, he's, he's realised he's got to he's got to hit down. Exactly. Four straight points. He's going wide. In. Oh, he's in. Amazing. Look how short it was. Yeah. Anyway. Five straight points for Naraoka. Great points for Naraoka. Super quick backwards there. And I mean, that's a difficult shot to be accurate with because the shuttle's trajectory is cross. You're moving cross. And you have to break both movements and hit it straight with accuracy. That is not easy. Service error of the match from either player. 13, 
taking as much air as possible. was a little loose from Naroka and he got what it deserved. 15, 17. This is not over yet, you know. Leads where five quick points in a row wins it from the one trading. Good. He's challenging this one. Wow. And if he's wrong, he's got no challenges left, Chi Yu Chi. What does the instant review say? This is vital. Here we go. There's clearly long. That's a good challenge. So there's just one point in it. Good net shot. He's back level. What a match. 18 to the lead. Chi Yu Chi. He looks the calmest person in the whole of the stadium. Chi Yu Chi. Oh, 
It's wide. It's 19 all. Well, I don't know about the players. I'm not sure my nerves can stand it. <laughs> this is a thrilling match. Here. I always think it could be interesting having a pulse meter on the coaches. Yes. <laughs> Who's going to have the match point? This rally will decide it. Three looks back from Naro Oka to his coaching bench. Oh, good punch, clear. Brilliant. Just inside the line. And the match point opportunity is for Xi Yu Chi of China. Five of the last six points to Xi Chi. Look at that beautiful, beautiful movement. Match point. Brilliant. Shot. Yeah. Fantastic rally. What courage to go for that cross court net shot from Naraoka. 20 all. So 20 all. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. to play an attacking shot from that position and so it's a second match point opportunity for Xi Yu Chi of China all strings are gone and he's missed it and Xi Uchi sinks to his knees. Sun Jun stands to applaud his player. What a monumental effort from Xi Uchi coming from a game deficit to beat Kodai Naraoka. An hour and 24 minutes. Of simply fantastic badminton. 22 20 in the deciding game. Well, what a match. What a match. Clearly wide. A wry smile from Naraoka. Relief and elation in equal quantities from Xi Yu Chi. Through to the semi final for a second time here in Changzhou, five years after the first. What a wonderful man singles.
So confirmation of that scoreline once again, coming from a game down 18, 21, 21, 9, 22, 20 in the deciding game in a match rounded up to an hour and 25 minutes.